everybody, Creative Katie. Today in the Index Card a Day Challenge, the prompt is Sunrise, and I am going to go with the prompt, even though I have not promised to do any of that all the time. I have my gesso card here, and I am just going to do some stamping on here and I've got my stays on and my script stamp. I absolutely love my script stamp. It is such a versatile versatile stamp. I use it all the time. So if you're new to mixed media to art journaling, I highly recommend that you get a script stamp and if you know the script stamp that's bigger than what you see here let me know in the con in the comment section i am on the lookout for a script stamp that um has um larger script i just want to have that i don't mind having two different ones so in the spirit of hashtag use your stash, I am going to use my gelatos. I, they were on the um, must have list um, when I started two years ago and I really, really do not use them as much as as I could. Um, now I looked at some sunrise pictures and pretty much anything goes like there's some that have blue in them and there's some that are pink and there's some that are all sorts of things and um, so I'm just going to go with some of the yellows and the oranges down in the brighter sun and I'm just going to put some blue sky above. And I'm thinking I already detoured from my original plan, but eh, you know what? Not time to sweat it. Now, instead of doing this, I'm just going to rub, get some wetness on my hands, and just rub to get this blended. cleaning off my fingers periodically because I don't want to oops we have that blue we shouldn't have started with the blue should have started with the lightest color you know but that's what that's what this is all about I make the mistake so you can go and not make the mistake at all at all at all Now I was going to do kind of the sunburst in there. I'm totally forgetting what I wanted to do. I think I'm going to go this way. I'm changing this as I go. I kind of had a plan and my plan just totally went out the window. Um, but I'm promising myself that I... Now normally the sunset would be down here. I am taking um, liberty in turning it. So if I did put a video yeah, last night on how to get ready for the index card a day challenge things you can do to just make sure that um, you, you can have more success you know especially if you have limited amounts of time to do art um, there's things you can kind of do 
like assembly line that will set you up for success. And I really want everybody to be successful in this. I don't want this to be a frustration for people. I don't want, um, you know, it should be fun. It should be um, without negative stuff. So I'm going to use some cut and dry foam and some black gesso. And I'm just going to kind of do a silhouette. My favorite, 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 you know, bold, bold and black combination. As I said in, in the first video, I'm not necessarily going to uh, ensure that I do the prompts every time, but if I feel a prompt, I am going to to use, use the ones that Daisy Yellow um, puts out. Please go check out her website. She puts a lot of effort and work into this challenge. And, you know, even though I'm taking liberties with the challenge, you can go there and see how she intends for it to go down and, you know, make decisions for yourself. Um, so, if you don't have cut and dry foam, makeup sponge will work just as well. Okay, so that is that. Now I could turn it this way if I choose to. You know, it, it's, it's all personalized. I'm going to give that a quick One of the things I did is I typed out, I did searching on um, Pinterest for quotes that go with it. Because for me, that's, that's a part and parcel of doing um, the iCads and, and Art Journal page. Uh, quotes are important to me. So I just typed the ones up from this week's prompt. I love that she provides the whole week's prompts all at once. So you can kind of get your stuff together a little bit or coordinate your, you know, your thoughts. Gonna edge this. Just putting the edge in black just is making this even pop even more. Love that. Some of the iCads are going to be a little more complicated. Some are going to be just simple. And you know what? That's okay. Um, what to 
do, what to do, what to do. Do I want to do some splattering? You know what? I think I am. And you know what? It's going to be gold. I know. Shocking people, right? Karen's putting gold. Now, you can just buy cheap dollar store gold paint for splatters if you wish. This is just Artist Loft brand. You do not need the expensive stuff at all. to get a blob on here somehow. I don't know how. You want it kind of the consistency of, of light cream. You, if it's too thick, you're going to... Shimmer Shake on there. Just use up the leftover. Could also put this on to a blank iCAD that I have and it would be the start of another project. Oop, not quite. My hope is that for many, most of these videos, I'm going to keep them real time and show you, you know, without speeding them up, unless I have to do some editing and stuff. Um, it's kind of the plan, at least going in. I just seem to like it at the top. And then just using my matte gel. If you don't have matte gel, Mod Podge will work equally well. And there we have it. Number one, done. Simple, but bold and effective. See you for day two.